Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our channel, The Anatomy Canvas. I am Professor Dr. Sara Ali, going to brief you some OSPI stations regarding cell injury, inflammation, and bacteriology. Before we proceed to our slides of pathology, I must share a quote with you, with all of you. You do not study to pass the test, you study to prepare for the day when you are the only thing between a patient and the grave. What a beautiful quote. My dear students, undergraduates, postgraduates, all of you, pay attention to this quote. You are very much responsible for humanity. So we start with our first slide that is showing kidney tissue or renal tissue, you can see over here, this is marked by a blue star, which is showing you Bowman's capsule. It is showing you normal histological structure. Over here, you can see the green one. This green star is showing the area, which is normal, uh, hist uh, which is showing normal histological structure of renal tubules. On the right side of the image, you can appreciate the loss of cellular details. You can't appreciate nuclei in different cells. So the loss of nuclei, the loss of nuclear details is telling you that the cell has been necrosed. So this is the necrotic change. And on the left side of the image, you can appreciate the normal one. So this is for the comparison so that you can appreciate accurately. Next slide. This is a slide showing arterial tissue. In this specific slide, you can see there is a pink rim, which is quite prominent in the is logical section of this arterial tissue. This pink deposition is hallmark for fibrinoid necrosis. Again, the loss of cellular and nuclear details along with deposition of inflammatory infiltrate. And this pink color tissue is indicative of fibrinoid necrosis. This slide is showing you cardiac muscle fibers. Here you can see deposits of brown colored pigment. It is known as lipofuscin, which is wear and tear pigment, which is a part of aging process. In this slide, you can see normal columnar epithelium which is being transformed into squamous epithelium in a same tissue. What is the meaning of that transformation? It is a change in epithelium in response to a chronic stimulus that is chronic inflammation or chronic infection. So columnar epithelium is being transformed into squamous epithelium that is known as squamous metaplasia which is example of cellular adaptation. Here you can see the most beautiful image of appendicular tissue, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa. And these are the bunches of neutrophils which are infiltrating mucosa and then into the deeper layers. The most favorite slide of all examiners worldwide, granuloma. Here we are talking about tuberculous granuloma. This granuloma is because of mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. I have purposely put this slide of illustrative sketch to make you familiar with all the cells involved in formation of a tubercle bacilli. So please 
concentrate the outermost layer here you can see the outermost layer is fibrotic one fibrous tissue right lymphocytic infiltration the blue one lymphocytic infiltration these are chronic inflammatory cells along with macrophages you can appreciate macrophages here and there right foamy macrophages epithelioid macrophages epithelioid macrophages foamy macrophages and multinucleated giant cells these are hallmark for granuloma if you want to diagnose it histologically i hope you are getting my point multinucleated giant cells are called as langhans giant cells in tuberculosis you can better understand it in the next slide langhans giant cells lymphocytes epithelioid macrophages and there is a central amorphous tissue which is pink in color it is caseous necrosis you can't appreciate any cellular or take detail over here pink amorphous deposit lang and giant cells lymphocytic infiltration epithelioid macrophages that is the total total picture of granuloma because of mycobacterium tuberculosis infection uh this is the most beautiful slide of microbiology the most basic one now i will brief you some agars which are being used in microbiology practice number one is blood agar you can see over here the color of this agar blood agar chocolate agar please compare it with the color of blood agar blood agar is bright red in color chocolate agar is having the color of chocolate if you heat blood agar up to a certain temperature limit it is converted into chocolate agar this slide is showing you another agar known as mcconkey agar please do appreciate this pink color which is altogether different from blood agar and chocolate agar this slide is showing you another agar known as cled agar this agar is absolutely used for detection and isolation of organisms microorganisms causing urinary tract infections like e coli and all this here we can see another agar you can appreciate the color which is altogether different from the previous agars i have shown you this is nutrient agar the basic agar for all bacteria we can use it in our practice another important ospi station that is sensitivity agar what is sensitivity agar if you put different antimicrobial discs antimicrobial discs will be having a certain amount or quantity of antibiotics we have to place these antibiotic discs on nutrient agar and then this nutrient agar is converted into sensitivity agar the agar which is having antimicrobial discs it is known as sensitivity agar you can appreciate different areas of clearing over here around certain discs you have a clear zone the clear zone is indicating that this spec specific antibiotic has killed that specific bacterium so the bacterium is sensitive to this antibiotic if you can see over here there is no clear area around this disc there is growth of bacterial colonies around this disc it means this specific antibiotic is unable to kill 
bacterial colonies around it so it is resistant to give you a more clear view of sensitivity agar i have put this image suppose this is your nutrient agar which is yellow in color this microbe or any bacterium which has been inoculated in this agar is present and we place a antimicrobial disc on this agar right if there is clear zone around the antimicrobial disc it means this antibiotic is successful in killing all organisms present in colonies so we can give this specific antibiotic to our patient for this particular bacterium i hope you understand it dear students have a look on this slide this is the basic concept of microbiology gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria on the right side of your image you can see the purple color which is being attained by a specific bacterium and on the right left side of the image you can see pink color which is being attained by a specific bacterium the color difference is showing you which bacterium is gram positive and which one is gram negative so b be cautious about it before identification very interesting very common slide and the very beautiful image of a bacterium which is showing you gram positivity right gram positivity purple color you can appreciate round shape over here it means these are cocci if you can appreciate the arrangement of these cocci these are arranged in irregular clusters over here you can appreciate a grape like cluster whenever you see gram positive cocci and clusters your diagnosis is staphylococcus aureus another very pretty slide of another very pretty bacterium that is known as Neisseria gonorrhoeae the most important thing is it is gram negative you can appreciate this pink color as compared to staph staphylococcus aureus this is gram negative please note the arrangement of this bacterium gram negative diplococci these cocci are not in the form of clusters these are not in form of chains these are in form of pairs you can see if you can put two coffee beans alongside each other you can have this image so this is typical for neisseria gonorrhoeae which is gram negative organism you must be appreciating this uh, blood agar having some colonies so the agar is blood agar the colonies are gray white in color if you can focus on the shape of these colonies you can appreciate if you ever seen the image of a barrister's wig go and check on google how can a barrister's wig look like so these colonies have a barrister's wig appearance gray white in color and they have been grown on blood agar gram positive rods bacillus anthracis another diagnostic slide of a very dangerous bacterium that is clostridium tetani this is another again gram positive rod you can appreciate the rod like structure over here that is why it is a rod you can also appreciate a terminal round swelling over here if you can see you can label it as tennis racket shaped appearance this tennis racket shaped organism is clostridium tetani known to cause a very dangerous disease a very fatal one that is tetanus <laughs> 